Rah! Did I scare you? Okay, we need to get to the bench. Before we start this set, we've got one question to ask you. Texas. 
Are you ready to lose your voices with us tonight? Thank you to everybody here for holding on till May. Southern, we just want to give you a little something back. So I want you to have this guitar, all right? This is yours. If I
guys what's up hola bienvenidos a mi canal today it's monday now um the concert was friday and i don't know what my hair is doing i normally part in the middle and so the side part feels like really funny to me saturday i was wearing my striped cardigan and i was like oh my gosh why do i look like the emo who bangs are such a pain in the butt anyways um pierce the veil i saw pierce the veil it was a really fun show and i'm so glad that i went it was at an outdoor venue in san antonio i've been to this venue a couple times before and it's really beautiful i just love downtown san antonio like even just waiting in line was an, an experience because like it's so beautiful all the little like historical things and stuff that's my city right there so yeah and also it was like a little cold but every time i don't put effort into the outfit i think i need a monster because i can't speak right now monster peachy keen yeah sorry cheers clink i forgot see i'm like so out of it every time i don't put together like a fit for the concert i always regret it because it adds to the whole concert experience you know i wore my knee-high converse and some shorts even though i knew it was gonna be cold outside and then i wore my like um heart chain pierce of bell shirt i kind of wish i would have gone for one of like the earlier pierce of bell graphic tees just to add to the whole 2010s vibe i was pulling but i really like that heart chain shirt and then i wore this black hoodie and a flannel on top and the, the icing on the cake the cherry on top if you will was this trapper hat i thrifted it like the day before i think and honestly it came in clutch it was so cold so i had to like buttoned up for a lot of the show i kind of feel like finn from adventure time or something like an adventure time character but yeah and also my bank started splitting like this side part i think the day before or something and i'm like dude my hair my hair knows that tomorrow is the emo concert so <laughs> it just started you know side parting out of nowhere but yeah it was so warm and like my head was almost sweaty even though my legs were shaking because i was wearing shorts like a crazy person there were a couple weird things that i noticed with like the concert venue that i didn't notice the last couple times i went like they i brought my little lei bag i'll put a picture of something on the screen and i was so excited because i'm like this is the perfect concert bag it's tiny and then the security guard told me that they're only doing clear bags like doesn't matter the size even though i read on the website that non-clear were fine if it was that dimension size i was like ah so then why i had to go back to the car and put my bag in and i was like well so much for the perfect concert bag and last time i went to that venue like a couple months ago to see sabrina carpenter they didn't care so this concert venue has these benches and the last concerts i went to we were able to stand on the benches so that we could see from far away like if you're in the general plaza area and this time there was a security guard who kept getting mad and told us to stop standing on it and i was like bro i am i am this tall <laughs> i wanted to see so bad because it's perfect i can see over everybody i mean it's still kind of far but um you have to pay extra to get into the like closer under the pavilion area so yeah that kind of stunk a little bit but towards like the very end of the concert I could tell people just stopped caring and they were standing and then he stopped getting mad but he did make his rounds several times and told everybody like get down don't stand on the bench um so the last couple songs I was just standing up there without um problem like the music itself was really great I have the set list right here so I can kind of like reference uh use setlist.fm if you're wanting to see the set list for yourself for this concert or any other concerts it was really cool to hear you know like cara for new cara for Nelia, hold on till may super special i'm just getting goosebumps just thinking about it because you know that one part in hold on till may when it's like and i would rather and then it just goes into the instrumental part that part live around people chills 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 right now it was just so special 
And then of course, may these noises startle you in your sleep tonight. So much fun. And um, even like hearing the songs from The Jaws of Life, like their most recent album, it was still really fun. Like I liked that they ended the set list with The Jaws of Life because it felt like a conclusion to like a movie or something. I was like, yep, this is wholesome. Very wholesome. And then the encore was Besitos and King for a Day. Pretty fun. I was so heartbroken when I saw the set list and Bulls in the Bronx was not on it. I was like, there's no way. No way they said. But I hope to see them again sometime and hopefully I'll get to hear that song live because I love that song so much as I feel like any Hispanic person does. Those guitars go hard. I'm talking with my hands again. I tried to do my research like beforehand when it came to like merch so I knew how much like money to put aside and stuff but I didn't really see anything I was too crazy about this tour but on their website they do have tons of merch from like both this tour and the last tour so on the last tour their VIP pack came with with a sticker set and a tote bag and I really liked both and they were going for a lot on Depop but they just put them on the website so I mean it was a normal price tote bag it was like 20 bucks so I was like okay I like this. It has a star, you know, star for Lee. Talking with my hands again. It was such a good day too. Uh, another artist I like announced they're going on tour and I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot handle like going to see Pierce Seville and then knowing this other artist is gonna go on tour and then I ended up finding something that I own that was in bad condition, but like in better condition. So now I'm going to have that. So I'm so excited to be able to own it in better condition. So yeah, there was a couple of personal wins at that day. And I'm so grateful for Wyatt for going with me and taking me. I got home and I put together my little like post for my Instagram and they liked it the pierce Savelle account whoever um runs the account liked it and i thought that was really cool i just remembered something else so i knew that my camera cover was cracked i told myself like you need to change out the camera cover so that the video is not distorted because when the camera cover is cracked the lighting refracts kind of weird it has a hard time focusing it's just it's a terrible time for trying to record photos and videos so i knew i needed to change it out and you know what i forgot to change it out i only realized once i started filming at the concert that my videos were coming out doo-doo and it kept unfocusing because the light was refracting everywhere like it's, it's so many cracks and pieces so yeah that stinks that's a regret of mine not changing out the the camera cover or even just taking it off when i was looking around the people around me had like really crisp videos like right next to me crisp video and then mine was like doo-doo but it's fine it's it's the experience it that uh matters i think that's all thanks for watching Roll fist. let your conversation be always full of grace seasoned with salt so that you may know how to answer everyone colossians chapter 4 verse 6